In this video, I am going to be covering backups on the Transcendent VMS 2.0. So before I get started, I always like to create a desktop folder and map the files to go onto that folder. Uh, this is just my, my preference. Uh, I don't like them going to the default path because then I can't find them. So to set this up, you go to home, you click on backup and under backup path, I already set it so it's going to my uh, if you click on browser browse uh, you can select desktop and then backup and select that folder uh, go ahead and apply so now my video should be going to this backup folder so let's make an example so home I will go to record playback and before I get started uh, on a previous video I did make sure that you select whether you want to sync or async meaning you want to copy the same time uh, different cameras or all your cameras or different or um, uh, sync means that they're gonna uh, you're gonna copy them at all at the same time async different times so I want to select sync another option is that you make sure that you set it that uh, for your network device uh, currently if you I have it set for storage server and if I try to do a copy off this it's gonna say no data because I don't have my computer set that way yet I will be covering this on, an, on another video so for right now I'm gonna set it for network device meaning that I want to grab the information from the DVR directly so now I'm gonna grab either a single camera or all my cameras it really doesn't matter let me grab them all so left click hold drag and drop so now let me select a uh, time so if you click on this option right here you can actually uh, maximize the time so that way you could see it better so let me select this footage right here so now that I let's say an incident happened here and that you want to do a backup of this you'll start right here then with this scissor icon this is your start backup time so let me move a little back and click start then let me move to this end right here and select the other scissor icon which is your backup end time all this white in between is what I'm about to copy right now so if I click on this drop down arrow it's your start backup and here's my uh, uh, now it's copying and it looks like we're copying for about a minute and 24 seconds okay I don't know if you notice but here on my backups I see files now so now if I open up my backup folder here they are now to play them there are several options it's an AVI file what I usually like to use a lot is VLC just because VLC uh, media player um, it's more um, it doesn't require a lot of codecs so if I try to play it with Windows Media it might not work so I just get the little uh, symbol the little music symbol so let me close this up open with VLC media player and here I, I do get a footage right click open with VLC media player so that's how I would review my videos uh, on AVI doing my backups so now let me do uh, if you know a date and time and you want to copy this so let me clear these up so that way we don't get confused 
eliminate all this and let me close this up so let me go back to home and if you know the date and time that you want to copy you're gonna go into home and go into backup and under backup again uh, you want to select from see how it's set for storage server so let's say I want to copy this camera it wouldn't come up because I'm telling it that I want to grab the information off my storage server which it's not programmed yet so I want to select this which means from my network device select my camera now I want to go to the 25th and click search so now I have my data before we start we want to select the mainstream if you do not check this it's going to record the substream so make sure you check this mark for mainstream your backup path it's going to go to your backup folder and let me record a couple couple minutes here so let me go here maximize this and with this option here you left now there's several options either I could enter it here or if I left click hold and drag and release that's another option so you could either manually enter the start time and end time or you can left click hold drag and stop release and it's gonna fill this automatically once you have set your start time and end time click backup and once it's complete go to your backup folder and again I like to play it with VLC media player and there it is uh, so that's how you would do your backups uh, on the transcendent VMS 2.0 uh, again you want to select your your day and then your uh, left click hold drag and release your time or you can manually enter it here uh, set the path and click backup Thank you.